hello everyone in this video I am going to quickly demonstrate insert update and delete operations so I'll double click on insert I'll simply copy this paste it here instead of select query I'm going to write insert into tbl underscore emp values employee id show table data let me see whether the employee id is auto increment or what no. employee id employee name employee salary employee date of joining gender and department these are the parameters that i need to pass so i'll say employee id as 99 employee name manzoor i'll use single quotation sorry employee id employee name then i have employee salary nine lakhs then employee gender employee date of joining and employee gender employee date of joining mmddyy should use that format month is 12 date 23 year 2010 and the gender is male department id 1009 that's it this is simple insert query and i don't need cmd dot parameters dot add with value and here i'm going to use execute non query and i do not need sql data reader neither this nor this i simply say execute non query that's it and once I execute this I'll say insert record got inserted successfully let me read that should go for the education department and I should find it in education department and Manzoor 99 Manzoor 9 lakh salaries next I'll quickly demonstrate same way update and the delete query I'm going to update the same Manzo record and going to delete the same Manzo record I'll simply copy this Control paste this time I'll say update TBL employee set EMP salary equals to 9999 where EID equals to 99 simply paste it here and here I'll say delete from table where EID equals to 99 I'm going to update this time record got updated let me go for education department read should see Manzoor salary got update same record I want to delete this record got deleted now if I say read I should not see this record anymore that got deleted 
so this is how I can perform all the simple operation insert update delete and select and now instead of writing hard coding it here you can use parameters and you can design a form and get the values from the form thank you very much